Hi YouTube, Nathani Etanov here again. Um, I just wanted to speak to you regarding this in this incident that I had experienced yesterday with a prank caller calling and providing the address that I leave at to the cops so that he could actually attend to whatever the matter was that was reported. And I just want to say that prior to this incident, as much as I know that police officers offer help or they help the, the community and they maintain order, to some extent having having been um, a pedestrian while I was like witnessing a certain activity by another pedestrian who was pulled aside and and um, interrogated by the cops and to see that I saw the difference between what that pedestrian that did and what I did and I got pulled aside myself. It's like I've had this level of activity or interaction with police officers where I just, you know, wish that all, they'd always stay at bay. <laughs> but there I was yesterday. I couldn't imagine, like, I, I couldn't imagine what it would look like, you know? To know that um, 911 deals with emergency situations and I don't know whatever it was that the that the situation was what was reported that the problem was and why the cops were coming out even if they were given my address because I didn't get to get into that with them but I I just can't imagine police cars speeding out coming into my um, my location coming to my address and this the, the, the lights blaring sirens going up and when they get there it's foolishness I just can I still cannot come to you know accept it because this is serious this is serious matters this is a matter of life and death that we're dealing with and you have people who are in their right frame of mind calling and giving a cop or an address to show up at when someone could be at a location where they are actually in a dire strait would it be a matter of domestic violence or it may be a matter of you know some altercation that help is needed right away and someone would send them to send the cops to my address where you know there is no <laughs> there is no unrest here or there is just no need for the cops to be showing up and they get sent out here I just consider this real highly inconsiderate it's a waste of time it's a waste of resources and that just goes to show you know it just goes to show how people think this is the USA I'm really taken aback to know you know people would be you know they'd be thinking in those kind of ways and they couldn't they couldn't like put thoughts together and know that's irresponsible behavior because where a life could be spared in another location or something could be prevented something that's great could be prevented you have you have some idle person sending res a rescue team over to a, an address where no need is is um required by the um peace officers i just think that is so it's really inconsiderate and shows a lack of character and so if this is a practice that you've been you're involved in i really highly require or, or, or insist with you that you should find something that is worthwhile to spend your time in because so many things you could do i'm sure you have hobbies i'm sure you've got interests that you could pursue and develop you know use your time wisely use your resources wisely and you know exercise your civic duty if i can say anything but this is your responsibility instead of sending the cop out to someone where they do not need any um 
um, emergency services, pay attention when there is need for an emergency service and make sure that that is the case and be the one to call 911 because many times a lot of um, social ills are going on and people just cast a, a blind eye. They just go on as if nothing's happening and people lose their lives that way. People get raped that way. People get hurt that way and you know, no one pays attention then. So I thought I would stop and make this other video to say so much because I'm really taken aback by this sort of behavior. Again, my name is Natalie Evinov and I will speak to you in another video. I wish you well.